Welcome to part number 5 of Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the International A License. So, yeah! The first exam is Mastering the Circuit de la Sarthe's Indianapolis section. We're using an Nissan Skyline Coupe 370 GT. The good old luxurious boy. And yeah, Indianapolis is not an easy test. Well, that and not an easy corner, but... Oh wait, Fittipaldi tested with Haas today? Well, isn't he the isn't he the test and reserve driver for Haas F1 anyways? Or some shit? Like honestly, I wish he was racing an IndyCar this year, at least the 500, because he's a hell of a talent. Attempt number four at the Indianapolis test at Le Mans. And that <laughs> Williams now have toothpaste cars. Yeah, the, their new car looks really weird. Uh, Guido Vandergaard said a really funny comment about it. He was just like... The car looks like some... It looks like a little kid's fucking um, livery design off of like an online F1 game. Okay, that was really good. Not perfect, but much better than the previous attempt. Nice! We got it. Yeah, the delivery just... They should just let Frank Williams race for them. Oh my god. Fucking Ender. Alright, there we go. Williams wheelchair team. Oh, it's this exam with the Lexus IS. Oh boy. We're in for a treat, y'all. Time for the hell to begin. And on comfort, like, that's the worst part. They make these exams much more difficult by giving us the worst tire compound possible. A actually, that's, that's a lie. It would be comfort hards, but comfort softs are still really bad on a car like this. Right, this is not good anymore. Like, I, I, I wonder what it's gonna take for that team to have like a resurgence. All right, I think we're on set number eight. I want to say, but I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't know, Vet, because McLaren was pretty vocal about you know Honda's reliability and stuff too. It wasn't just um, Fernando. It was. Pretty much everyone in McLaren. Just the tension that the team just wasn't good. There we go, got the gold. But yeah, um That's a really I don't think that relationship will ever get better, dude. It will never go back to anywhere. I don't believe it will. Ooh, the corkscrew. I believe we use a Corvette C3 for this exam? That or an RX-8? One of those two. Corvette. Yeah, I mean, Vet, you gotta understand, too, that, like... I, I, I get it that McLaren is a world championship winning team, and, you know, they wanted results immediately. Alright, it's at number five. This test shouldn't be that difficult for me, honestly. It's just that we're driving a much different car than a Viper. So whatever I'm adjusted to in GT2, 3, and 4, whatever other games, I have to get that out of my mind. There we go. Now we got it done. Oh yeah, that is very true. I mean... They gave McLaren absolutely no data. There was no way they could have succeeded even with the 2015 McLaren Mercedes package. You're probably... No, you're probably... You know, not probably. You're right about that. 
no way in hell that they were going to do anything. But they had. Alright, so back to Shimani. Breaking into consecutive corners on snow. And this test is going to be a pain in the ass because that section is actually really tight at Shimani. Second attempt, by the way. Um, oh, really? So, okay, so the McLaren Cassie was really good in 2015. Yeah, Shimona. Can I just cheese it in this corner? Oh, I am. I'm probably not going to get the gold still. Oh, I am. Okay. Yeah, hello, GT3. Yeah, cheesed it. There we go. Cheaters always win, guys. Alright, so that's IA4 down. Now moving on to IA5. Yeah, it worked. Now we're going to drive around Madrid's Puerta de Alcala. Oh, that corner. Okay. Hey, look. Well, at least we have good tires. Sport tires, finally. That was more cheesy than a German breakfast. Are oh, you guys consuming a lot of cheese or what? All right. It's a number 11. Inching closer and closer to getting the gold medal. That's a gold. Got it. Had a much better entry and exit overall. Out of the corner. I like you're getting better, UFC. That's the important part. All right, we're halfway down with IA licenses. Now we move on to IA6. Just visualizing a driving line through blind corner. So let's see what corner this is. I cannot remember. Oh, it's turn one of the GP. Uh, doesn't that kind of look like the Vietnam Grand Prix track? Oh yeah, because that's a thing, remember? But instead of right, they go left. Alright, third attempt. Nearly got it on the first run. Okay, that was the best entry to turn one. That's what we screwed up on on our first attempt. That error we made coming out of the final corner of the exam would have been a gold if we had messed up turn one. Okay, we got the gold. By a huge margin, too. Nice. What try you dislike more? Yasmarina or Bahrain? Yasmarina. Easily Yasmarina, because it's just. Straight line chicane, you know, straight line chicane, straight line chicane, fancy hotel, fancy hotel, like fucking Ferrari land or whatever. That's all it really is. I mean, Bahrain's kind of similar to where it's just like endless money pit, but I don't know. I think Bahrain's a little bit better. I don't know. At the end of the day, I have no idea. Both of the tracks are meh. All right, third attempt at this challenge. Um, we barely missed out on the gold in the previous one. Gotta make sure we nail this final corner of Toscana. Okay, we got a gold. There we go. Damn, by over three tenths of a second. Nice.
So there we go, that's the gold medal. And moving on to IA number eight. Oh, the spiral bridge at Cape Ring. Okay, this will be really easy. So we're using a Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG from 2008. And yeah, this is gonna be a really easy exam. Welcome back, Arthur. Um, so yeah, second attempt. Because I completely forgot that touching the red part, the spiral bridge, equals an automatic DQ. I'll stay within pavement. Otherwise, this test is really easy. As you can see, gold by over three tenths of a second. Not a really difficult test whatsoever. But hey, that's all the hard time trial license exams out the way. And now we're level 13. Now we move on to IA9, Strategic Driving on the First Corner of the Grand Valley Speedway. I believe we're using a Lamborghini Gallardo for this event? If not, that's the graduation test, because I know the graduation test is at Grand Valley again. Oh, it's a Volvo C C30, okay. I was way wrong. Oh my god, I read the comment just as just as you have said that. I say I have returned because I literally left. So yeah, passing three other cars. Alfa Romeo Brea, Focus ST, and I cannot see what's ahead of me. Oh, it's an Audi TTS. Or it could be the regular Audi TT. Gonna have to outbreak these two. Close the door right away. There we go. Got the job done. Easy license test in the books. Okay, so that is IA number nine. Time for the graduation test, IA 10, which is gonna be the two lap battle once again at Grand Valley Speedway. Now this one, we use a Lamborghini Gallardo. B-spec license test? Oh my God, dude. Don't even let me think about that. Imagine having to do license tests in the beginning when I had Flynn and Sanchez and all of those clown ass fucking drivers. Oh, dude, that would have just been hell. Hey, we're on sports soft tires. Nice. Yes, Rishi, I have returned. Thank God. But yeah, two laps around Grand Valley Speedway. I'm gonna race against a bunch of supercars. If I remember correctly, the first lap we get around 14 other cars, and I think the leader, we spend a whole lap catching him. I-I-R-C. Jesus Christ, game. Alright, second attempt. So, I got penalized for crashing into a car. Or, I'm not crashing into a car. I didn't get penalized for that, but I got penalized for going off track. that see the sound boom penalty get these plebs out the way battlefield one sounds He's just abusing the hell out of every other car. I know, Jesus Christ indeed. 
<laughs> ear rate video explosions. It'd be funny if like I hit the leader and I get penalized for that. That's a go car incoming. <laughs> Dude, these these fucking sounds. Okay, I'm not gonna send it into turn one to take out the Enzo, but Jesus Christ, we're literally passing this exam by slamming into every car. I don't think this is what they intended for us to do, but hey. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just ramming the fuck out of every car. I think we've hit every single car, except for like a few. Not too far behind to do anything. I'm gonna get him into the hairpin. Where's the pace car? Good question. I know I slammed on the brakes way too early, but that's because what fun is it to actually clean you cleanly overtake the cars ahead of you? Just do this. See, there you go. Terrorist win! <laughs> See, that's the ultimate strats there. Not only do I crash into him, I push him off the track too. If the super license is gonna be like this, then this will be so freaking fun. Hair bomba testing. Nineteen <laughs> sixty one colorized. Jamie would be proud of me. Hey, what's up, Fernando? Now we can just honk all the way home. Luckily, I'm in no immediate danger, so... Yeah, we're good. And I can just hold the horn button down. Which is literally the middle. <laughs> the, the nuclear warning siren. What a fucking exam! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> Brought to you by the director of Comfort Tires, all out war is Susan in a battle between good and evil. M. Weber starts alongside M. Tyson and Bang Bros, directed by the moving chicken. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Like poetry. Oh my god. Well, I gotta send Jimmy that footage. Whenever I'm done streaming. Be like, hey, noob, this is exactly how you pass the fucking IA-10 exam. Congratulations! You have effectively passed your International A license tests. Enter the appropriate races and raise your driving level. And now... You've made it to the final part of these tests. The heralded S license awaits. Yes, fake Tom just. So the super license is next, and we'll do that in the next video. Level 15, but nope, we got level 40 B spec, so we can go ahead and do it already. So. We win a Dodge Ram 1500 Lam Lamy Hemi Quad Cab from 04. We win a Land Rover Range Stormer Concept and a Ford GT with no stripe. All pretty good cars, I would say. For sure, the Dodge Ram, we could use that in the Sport Pickup Challenge with the Chevy SSR. God's glory, Ram. Uh, the Range Rover, I have no idea where we could use that. But the 4GT, Supercar Festival, or MR Sports Cup. There it is. Now, I would use this for the Laguna Seca 200, but I have another car that I'd rather use for that race. John already knows what it is. 
you measured how many chicken buckets could fit in the RAM on Jamie's stream? How many? Please enlighten me. Here it is! Guts, Glory, and RAM. In light almond pearl metallic. Why that color? I don't even know. Alright, time to get the next car, which is the Land Rover Range Rover Stormer Concept Range Rover Dover something. It's a concept car of a Land Rover. Chrome? No. I, I don't think I have any chrome. For sure, I don't have any DLC colors, sadly. Then again, I could probably just give myself Chrome with the save editor. Rug emoji? I don't know. That was gay. What the fuck would I say? Rug emoji. <laughs> Do I have every car? No. Here's the second car, the Range Rover Stormer Concepts thing. And then finally, last but definitely not least, ooh, in red too. We get a Ford GT with no stripe. Kind of interesting how no stripe is a model in this game and in GT4 in general, but still cool nonetheless. Why a 4 GT without a stripe? I think it looks kind of cool without the stripe. Like, I don't really mind it. It's just kind of weird that it's its own model, but they fixed that in GT6 when they made both models premium. So here it is. Looks just like GT40. Yeah, exactly. Mark IV Red. It looks pretty good. I would honestly say. But yeah, guys, that is the International A license. So next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we do the Super license.